I think we have Sean from Irie Tide, right? I got to find the cord to plug Sean in first. Hang on, like, we do have Sean Roland on the line from Gustine, California, from the band Irie Tide. Sean, how's it going? Going pretty good. How are you guys doing? Doing awesome, man. Uh, how far is Gustine, California, from San Francisco? Um, uh, about an hour and forty-five minutes, maybe, if that. Awesome. Yeah, because I'd never heard of Gustine, but now I have, and super happy uh, to have gotten a copy of your of your CD. Um, I retired self-titled. It's a really good production, great mix. And um, I, I had to ask first off, are you a big fan of the band Sublime? Um, very much so, yeah. I'm sure you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, I really, I love Sublime, so when I got it, I was so happy to hear that that was the kind of vibe that it was. I'm like, yes. Yeah, 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 man. Also, just real quick, your album is awesome too, man, by the way. I love it. Oh, that's right. We kind of traded, didn't we? Yeah, we traded, dude. I listened to it a few times already. I like it. It's got that kind of 90s, uh, like, punk rock kind of alternative feel to it. I like it a lot. Nice. He's referencing the Divine Dirt from the other uh, from the Underworld album. Thank you, man. I appreciate the uh, compliment. Yeah, of course. Did I send you the vinyl or the CD of that, or both? You sent, you sent my father both of those. Okay, cool. Cool, man. Yeah. Now... What year did Irie Tide CD get released? Was that 2013 you told me, I think? Uh, honestly, yeah, 13 or 14, one of those. But I think it's 13. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if it was brand new or if it had been out for a few years. How many, uh, who are the other cats in the band, by the way? Okay, so um, back then the lineup was a guy named Soli, who's a bass player, who's still with me today. He's an awesome dude. And then uh, Andy Parker was on drums back then, and uh, yeah, he laid it down for us in the studio oh nice uh how often do you guys play out lately not too much because of work stuff that's been happening but uh we're trying to get back on that so but lately not too much it's been a while since we played a live show actually probably over a year now by the way i think you know that sister tracy's sitting here next to me right you guys already said hello there. i am indeed yes yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting tricky, man, because, you know, if you're a musician with all of the coronavirus stuff happening, you know, they're saying, no, you know, bars can be open, this and that, different, you know, rules in different states. Boy, it's getting yeah. it's getting tough for musicians, that's for sure. Oh, I bet. I'm, I'm, I mean, right now I'm not in the scene, so I'm sure it is getting tough. If I was still playing, it would suck, you know? Yeah, our band got our stuff together and been practicing and practicing, and then we did a show like a week or two ago, and now it's just kind of like, okay, uh, we really liked being tight and keeping it that way. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. What do you do, man? Do you, yeah, I mean, yeah, but have you ever not played for like months and then played with your band and it was like tighter than ever? I actually have done that before, and I've had both experiences. Yeah. But mo yeah, you're right. You've got a good point. Most of these guys are and girls are pretty talented, so we probably could do that. Yeah, um, it's crazy how that works. Yeah, do you write most of the material for your band? Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm, I write all the material pretty much. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. very cool. Yeah. yeah. Now Time you know, to bring it to the guys. Now, was it last week or the week before we played? Uh, I retired uh, flip flops on the show. I think it was last week, maybe. Uh, yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, a week or two ago. Yeah, that was awesome. By the way. Yeah, cool. I was really happy to play it, man. Uh, what some people probably don't know is that you and I are related. We um, about oh, yep. a couple of months ago, uh, your dad uh, got connected with me, and turns out he's my long lost brother um, that I have for like thirty something years been thinking about and kind of wondering where he's at. And then I got connected through my daughter, and uh, so you're you're my nephew, and we've never yep. actually met in person. This is our first time actually talking on the phone, even. Yep, it sure is. What a trip, huh? It's awesome. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome because just to know there's other musicians in the family, you know? It's cool. Yeah, it's, I had to throw that in for the listeners because that's a pretty interesting yeah. story there. Yeah, it is. It's very awesome. Yeah, so you're about six hours uh, south of us here in Ashland, Oregon, so I, your dad and I said we were going to make a point to somehow try to meet up in June or sometime th this year for sure if if uh, yeah, they, yeah. they'll allow us to do so. Oh, yeah, of course, Definitely. Have uh, has I retired gotten up to Oregon much at all? Um, no, we we haven't played Oregon. We have not. Oh, I wondered so. about that. Um, yeah. Another question I have on my list is: Are you an indica or a sativa man? <laughs> <laughs> well, back the, uh, I, you know what you're, this, you're gonna think this is kind of funny, and a lot of people do. I haven't smoked since I was about 26 years old. Wow. How old are you now, Sean? Uh, 34. Wow. So, what made you um, get out of that lifestyle? 
Um, it's not. It's, I loved everything about it. I, I'm not against it in any way. Never will be. Never was. But uh, just a personal thing, you know. Just personal. There's no real reason to it. I just just stopped. I mean, it wasn't. There was no real honest reason. For me, it kind of slowed me down even more than how slow I already am. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Well, you know, I shouldn't be so presumptuous. And just because you're in a reggae band, to, to assume that you're, you know, a big weed smoker or something, anyway. <laughs> No, I, everybody does. Every time we play a show, someone, you know, they want to pass me the joint, and I'm like, oh, man, I don't, I don't do it. And they're like, yeah, right, dude. And I'm like, I'm serious, dude. So, that's, no, it, it happens all the time. That's hilarious, man. Well, yeah. and, too, we're from, you know, here in Oregon, so it's it's kind of a, a you know, just a given here. Just... Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been to Oregon personally for that scene a few times. Well, yeah. it doesn't and to answer your question because I can still answer the question. Back in the day, I was more of a sativa kind of guy. Okay, I got the answer. <laughs> yeah, you still got the answer. Yeah, and because okay. I, if I remember right, those are the ones that just couch like, lock. lay you out for the day. Yeah, couch lock. Yes. You know, I'm a yeah, hyper, I'm a pretty hyper guy, so I usually choose the indica. Just to- um, okay, couch lock okay. person. Couch lock. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the name of the next album. Uh, I retired <laughs> couch lock. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, do you know uh, when will you record again and and put another I retired album out, man? You, you know what? Me and and Soli, who's the bass player, the same one on that album, and has been for since the beginning. Um, we were just talking about that. I think last weekend. Really. Wanting to, wanting to uh, redo some of those songs and uh, also do all the new stuff that we never got to record. Smart, yeah, because so the, the it first... Is ta- we are talking about it. It deserves a follow-up. Uh, the first, the one I'm holding right now has nine songs. I love the yeah. cover art. Who designed your little octopus uh, logo? Okay, so the octopus logo was um, the drummer, Andy, his... I think it was like one of his cousins or somebody drew that up for us and we loved it. We were just like, whoa, we're keeping that. <laughs> and she's like, okay. So then we used that as the thing. And then, uh, on the back, there's some real rad art. And that's from our good friend, uh, Jason. Yeah. The back, called the back cover has mushrooms and like a magical third eye and all kinds of, of <laughs> yeah. a, 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 a reefer smoking frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's cool. him. That's all. That's all our buddy Jamo right there. And there's a bong that's got a, it's on, it's smoking, but yet it's got a cobweb on it. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very cool, man. I'm super happy that uh, Brother Bill was able to get me the album, and I appreciate you making time to chat with us on the Church of Rock. I'm looking forward oh, to actually uh, playing some more music here by you guys. And uh, oh, you know, any, Of course, man. Next time you get something new, feel free to get a hold, and let's get you on again. And um, Yeah. I want to do track number, let's see, I, I, a song called Reef is the one I picked out to do. Is that okay? Oh. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah. It's actually track two on the album. Is there anything you'd like to say about the, the song Reef before we roll into it? Um, the, I mean, that I remember writing that song like year when in like 2005, I believe. Wow, it's an oldie, and an oldie it, but a goodie. Yeah, and then I just, I just, we just turned it into something that we could play then, and it, it worked out real good with that band. I was just doing it acoustic, so I, I always played acoustic before I had this band. It was just me. Oh, nice. Acoustic. Yeah, so then when I got the band, we kind of just made that into like something for that, and it worked out really well, you know? Yeah, well, the record's really well done. Uh, I know that you guys are on Spotify because daughter Audrey she and daughter Jessica both uh, have been on Spotify telling me that they really love this band, so I know that I think oh. I think they're both listening, actually. So, hey, Jess, awesome. and hey, Thank Audrey. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, I hope they are, but they're definitely fans of uh, Irie Tide. That's awesome. I appreciate that a lot. Well, thank you, Sean and Tracy. Let's wrap it up yeah, and go course. ahead and play some music by I Retired. Thanks so much, Sean. We appreciate yeah, th- it. Hey, thank you guys very much. Great to talk to you. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Okay, Sean? Okay, yeah, we will. You bet, man. Much love, my okay. friend. Yeah. Yep. Okay, All you right. guys too. See ya. Take care. Yep, me too. Bye. All right, let's uh, roll into track two from the I Retired album from uh, not only a musician there that is cool and a great guy, but a relative of mine that I have yet to meet in person. How interesting, right? Yes, the world is small, isn't it? But it's nice to know, it is. It's nice to know, like he said, that I have uh, other family members out there making music in the world. And uh, let's present this now at Sean Rowland and his band I Retied with Reef right here at the Almighty Church of Rock radio show. And, of course, KSKQ.